Hurricane Ida is expected to rapidly strengthen before pummeling Louisiana on Sunday, forcing evacuations in New Orleans and the surrounding coastal region on the eve of the 16th anniversary of Hurricane Katrina. On Saturday, Ida was moving away from Cuba and into the Gulf of Mexico, where it is expected to intensify over the next 24 to 36 hours prior to landfall across the Louisiana coast on Sunday afternoon or evening. Recent satellite imagery showed the storm has already strengthened. New Orleans Mayor Latoya Cantrell on Saturday warned residents planning to voluntarily evacuate, which she recommended, to get out now. Time is not on our side. It's just rapidly growing. It's intensifying, the mayor said at a news conference, referring to Idaho if you're voluntarily evacuating our city, now is the time to leave, you need to do so immediately. If you're planning to ride it out, again, make sure that you're able to hunker down. Louisiana Governor John Bell Edwards said Ida will be one of the strongest hurricanes that hit anywhere in Louisiana since at least the 1850s. This is a very large storm, Edwards told reporters Saturday, noting that the hurricane could span about 150 miles east and west from the storm's center. I don't want folks who are further inland to be caught off guard. Over 4,000 soldiers and airmen with the Louisiana National Guard are currently mobilized and another 5,000 will be prepared by the time the storm makes landfall, Edwards told CNN Saturday afternoon. You just have a few more hours really to prepare, Edwards said. Where you go to bed tonight, you need to be prepared to ride out the storm and the storm is going to be very severe, he told those who are not evacuating. Ida is anticipated to reach at least Category 4 strength before landfall, the National Hurricane Center said, maintaining its earlier forecast. Tropical storm force winds could reach New Orleans about 8 a.m. Sunday before the storm makes landfall that afternoon or evening west of New Orleans, near Houma and Morgan City. Late Saturday afternoon, meteorologists at the center said the storm appears to have begun its intensification phase. Hurricane Ida remains a Category 2 hurricane with winds of 105 miles per hour with stronger gusts, according to the 8 p.m. National Hurricane Center update. Rapid strengthening is forecast during the next 12 to 24 hours and Ida is expected to be an extremely dangerous major hurricane when it makes landfall along the Louisiana coast on Sunday. Ida is expected to be an extremely dangerous major hurricane when it approaches the northern Gulf Coast on Sunday, National Hurricane Center forecasters said Saturday morning. At 2 p.m. ET, the storm had strengthened to a Category 2 hurricane with winds of 100 miles per hour. Officials throughout the state implored people to evacuate, with some issuing mandatory orders to do so. News footage from the area showed traffic backed up heading out of New Orleans. Colin Arnold, director of the New Orleans Office of Homeland Security and Emergency Preparedness, urged people to stock up on enough food and water for at least three days, and to be either on the road or home by midnight. We say the first 72 hours is on you, Arnold added. The first three days of this will be difficult for responders to get to you. In text alerts Saturday, New Orleans officials urged residents to leave by this morning if you can. If you're staying, gather supplies, charge devices, lower fridge temp and secure outdoor items today, the message said. State officials also texted residents, get ready for Idaho. Louisianans have until nightfall, the text warned, adding that Ida will bring serious impacts across the state. Cantrell issued a mandatory evacuation of all city areas that are outside its flood protection system, and urged other residents to evacuate voluntarily or shelter in place. The city cannot issue a mandatory evacuation because we don't have the time, Cantrell said Friday at the news conference, speaking about areas inside the levee system. We do not want to have people on the road, and therefore, in greater danger because of the lack of time. A dangerous storm surge of 10 to 15 feet is expected from Morgan City, Louisiana, to the mouth of the Mississippi River on Sunday as Ida makes landfall, the NHC said. 
the storm surge, coupled with winds as strong as 150 miles per hour, could leave some parts of southeast Louisiana uninhabitable for weeks or months, according to the latest hurricane statement from the National Weather Service in New Orleans. The statement warned of structural damage to buildings, with many washing away as well as winds that could bring widespread power and communication outages. Flooding rains could cause numerous road and bridge closures with some weakened or washed out along with some structures becoming uninhabitable or washed away. Hurricane conditions are likely in areas along the northern Gulf Coast beginning Sunday, with tropical storm conditions expected to begin by late Saturday night or early Sunday morning. These conditions will spread inland over portions of Louisiana and Mississippi Sunday night and Monday. Mississippi Governor Tate Reeves declared a state of emergency on Saturday. Rainfall can amount to 8 to 16 inches, with isolated maximum totals of 20 inches possible across southeast Louisiana and southern Mississippi through Monday which will likely lead to significant flash and river flooding impacts. A hurricane warning remains in effect from intercoastal city Louisiana, to the mouth of the Pearl River and includes Lake Bontretrain, Lake Maurepa, and New Orleans. In Louisiana, a tropical storm warning was in effect from Cameron to west of Intracoastal City and the mouth of the Pearl River to the Mississippi-Alabama border. Tropical storm warnings and watches are also issued stretching east to the Alabama-Florida border. The storm has already idled about 90% of the oil production 84% of gas production in the Gulf of Mexico, according to the Bureau of Safety and Environmental Enforcement. Mandatory evacuations were ordered for parts of at least seven Louisiana parishes as well as the towns of Grand Island Port Forkin. Voluntary evacuations were issued in six parishes. Jefferson Parish President Cynthia Lee Shung urged residents in low-lying areas to immediately evacuate before Hurricane Ida hits, as the expected storm surge is unsurvivable. I want to reiterate the storm surge that we are expecting is unsurvivable, she said, adding that the storm is expected to linger over the area. We need you to leave immediately. Jefferson Parish Sheriff Joseph Lapento said if people want to leave, they should go now, but once the storm starts, they need to stay off the roads to protect first responders. Anyone who cannot live without power for days or possibly weeks due to a medical condition should evacuate now before the storm starts, Sarah Babcock, the Chief Administrative Assistant for Jefferson Parish, said. New Orleans is anticipating impacts from damaging winds of up to 110 miles per hour, according to Arnold.